Welcome back. This is Minder Chen. I visited a friend of mine uh, the other day, uh, Ray Bauman. Uh, Ray showed me actually how he used uh, Chat GPT. Um, I'm going to kind of replicate that um, example. Uh, let's say I got an Excel file which has the following sales data over seven months for three different regions. So it looks like this. I can copy and paste the data, copy it and paste it over chat GPT. Okay. Um, so it would looks like this. Uh, it, all text-based, there's no grid, um, but pretty much have everything in my Excel file. Uh, I added and just say, analyze the following sales performance data. So let's see what ChatGPT's answer is. He more or less, he kind of noticed the North America has the highest sales um, in June um, in um, with $22,000, lowest is in app. April, uh, so uh, that's pretty much uh, what we have. So that's correct, I believe. Uh, so they did make a comment and say North America had high sales among the three regions, followed by Asia and then uh, Europe and then Asia. Okay, um, kind of noticed there's a fluctuation uh, throughout the months, but North America has a more consistent performance with higher sales figure. Uh, that's relatively true. But I'm I'm not happy with this kind of a general analysis. Like, give me the maxima and minima for a particular region because I can easily do that uh, with other tool or even visually. Uh, so I follow up with the following prompt. Uh, I kind of say, are there any pattern and trend? And that's the keyword I believe um, in the data that provided. That you can tell me. So now we're seeing actually a more detailed uh, analysis. Okay, kind of say uh, some are similar to what we had before. North America generally has a higher sales figure compared to Asia and Europe. That's true. All three regions have higher sales figure in the middle of the year. Okay, May and July. That may be true. Okay, then the beginning of the January to March, uh, etc. But one thing that if we carefully look at our data and say July is the month that all regions have the highest sales figure. Uh, let's just look at here. Okay. If you look at it, um, yes, the um, July for North America has the highest figure. Uh, for Europe, that's not true because January has the highest figure and that's definitely not true for Asia. So that's a lesson learned that um, whatever generated by ChatGPT, um, you, you have to um, verify that um, in other mechanism, in other tool, or use your own judgment. And however, uh, the, the, the response here give us some direction in terms of what to look. Because at the end of the day in data analysis is that you can tell a good story. You can spot trend and patterns. So that's important. And here, ChatGPT kind of saying that um, your sample is too small. That may not be enough to make any conclusive statement. Uh, that's relatively true. Um, and it will be helpful to have more data um, to, to look at the trend and pattern. So. We kind of agree with that. I come back with the following prompt. I say, what is the best way to analyze the data if I can use uh, a machine learning model or tool such as Python? So ChatGPT kind of suggests uh, quite a number of tool. Um, some of them I don't think it's applicable, um, but the time series analysis seems to make sense. Um, I tried that uh, later on and find out that actually you probably need more data point, um, probably 50 
data point to use some more serious time series analysis tool. Uh, so I kind of switched my question. I just say use Python to conduct time series analysis for the data for me uh, in the sense Okay, so they kind of say, well, I cannot write code, but uh, I can show you how to do that. So pretty much they um, assume I have some data stored in a CSV, CSV file and read it in um, into a data friend um, using pandas um, and eventually plotting some diagram. Okay. I'm going to show you how to do this uh, in in uh, in Python. I basically just say, well, but I don't have that file. Uh, can you write the Python code to save the data that's given to you uh, into that uh, CSV file? So basically, um, they wrote the code, which is pretty decent. Um, they basically just create the three region and create um, uh, three data point for each month from January to July uh, and convert that dictionary into a data frame uh, through pandas and then save that data frame as a CSV file. So this is a pretty simple program, but we know how to do it now. Um, I say, can you put it together with comments? So um, they basically just uh, create this adding a comment, but that's not exactly what I want. I basically just say I want the whole thing. I want you to be able to plot the line chart. Okay. Uh, this is really not time series analysis, but I want to plot a line chart uh, for m over the seven months of the sales performance data to see the uh, the pattern and trend. Um, so ChatGPT basically uh, start generating some code. Um, we're going to look at the code uh, in um, in Jupyter Notebook a little bit later. Okay, so I'm going to skip this a little bit. So they basically got the code. The chart generator is really not exactly what I wanted um, because they're not really using the month, the sales data for different month as x-axis and the sales data uh, as, as y, um, uh, y axis. Um, so I clarify that. I say, I want you to make the month um, as the x axis and the sales as y axis in the line chart. So basically they went ahead and did it. I test it out and find out there's some problem. Uh, there's some error. Uh, through the arrow code, uh, later I'll show you uh, what happened. Uh, I basically say, no, that's not right. And in the CSV file, actually, the first column is not really month. It's something called region. Um, the, the column heading is called region. The rest of the column are months from January to July. Uh, just redo it. So basically, they went ahead and did it again. And this time, they actually um, got it down properly. Okay, so that's my conversation with ChatGPT. Uh, let me just show you um, what it looks like. Um, in okay, now we're in Jupyter Notebook. Um, that's the development environment that I use. I pretty much document my conversation with ChatGPT and. This is what I cut and paste from Excel. And this is what the Excel file looks like. I basically just uh, copied and paste as a pure text file into ChatGPT, but adding, uh, just analyze the final sales performance data. Okay, so ChatGPT pretty much gave me something like this. Okay, uh, I do ask pattern and trend, as I mentioned to you, and they gave me a, a better uh, analysis. Um, but some of the analysis um, is definitely not true. Um, and so in this case, I would say write the Python code to save the data to, uh, into the file. So this is done. Uh, 
I run this. I added actually one line of code, which is print uh, DF, which is data frame. So I can see what the um, the data structure looks like. So we have region um, from January to July. We have three regions here and the sales data for seven months each. Okay, the zero, one, two are just index uh, for this data frame. And so in this case, uh, the system, uh, I say use Python to conduct time series analysis of the data for me. Um, and basically the, the generated code basically just read the data over here. Okay. And set the region column as an index. Okay. As an index and as an X label, X axis. And the cells will be the Y axis. Okay. So this was what the data looks like in Excel originally. Uh, this is what the data frame looks like when it has been read. So in the sense that uh, we convert, uh, this is actually due to this line of code, set the region column as an index. So initial index is 0, 1, 2 on the left hand side here. But after you set the index, I'm using actually the first column up here, the first column up here as the index. Okay. This is what we got. Okay, so region became the x-axis and the cells become the y-axis, but that's not really what I wanted because I want to compare the performance um, among the three region. Okay, so um, I kind of asked, change my prompt and just create the Python program, the read the file, then create a plot line chart to show pattern and trend. Uh, in this case, um, they generate some code um, similar to what we have previously. Um, when I try to run it, this is where I got an error message and say they couldn't find the month in the column. Because if you remember, I have region. Okay, I don't have month, although I do have the month here, but I don't have a column heading called month. Uh, that create trouble. So basically, um, and if you really look at the Excel file uh, inside, um, this is actually called region. I have a column heading called region and followed by in this A column has North America, Asia, and Europe. So I came back and just tell GPT said incorrect. The code you generated just won't work. I, uh, instead of giving the error message, I just say the CSV file, the first column headings region, the rest of the column are month's name from January to July. Please redo it. So they went ahead and did it for me. Um, some of the code here is a little complicated. You kind of need to know um, Panda, know um, Matplotlib um, um, Matplot library, and but I'll explain just a little bit. Okay, uh, they're still reading the data. They set the region as an index. Uh, I add this code, I just print it out and see what it looks like, okay? So basically, we have this after we execute those statements, okay? So that's good. And they did something called transpose. Transpose the data frame to get month as column and region as row. Transpose is like pivot. You, you switch the row and column, you change the shape of this original data frame. So now the region are column, and then the month on the left hand side on um, the month. Okay, so that's 
the shape and the format of the data that we can use to uh, create the line chart um, and to plot it. So once we have that, let's look at the code. Um, this is actually, we are actually getting all the column. Uh, if you look at here, I got three column, North American, Asian, and Europe. For each region, this column really represent each time you go through it, it's a region. So we plot actually on the data, okay, uh, using the column as the, the label, okay, and use actually all the uh, data in the column uh, to plot the line chart. And then we set the label as month, Y label as X label as month, and Y label as cells, and have a title and call region Y cells or regional cells analysis, performance analysis. And uh, place um, the legend um, on the best location possible, okay, whatever this extra space, and show it. So if you really look at here, that's a pretty neat uh, plot. Okay, three different regions. Now we can see actually, yes, ap April seems to have the lowest sales. July is really good for um, North America and Europe. Um, and in the case, January certainly is good for Europe as well. Uh, but July is down for Asia. Okay, so we can certainly revise remember the analysis con um, given by uh, ChatGPT earlier because now we can visually see this and we can kind of still follow that format and tell our own story with this chart okay so that's it um, give it a try uh, let me know when that worked for you and by the way each time you even try a similar prompt uh, you may get different response, and sometimes if you modify uh, your prompt just for some key phrase like show me the pattern and trend, I think that pattern and trend is important, then you may get um, quite a different response. So um, play with it, and I think you enjoy it. Thank you. Bye-bye.